Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show, everybody let's go, check out my video, if you wanna get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel everyone, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you never miss out on another delicious bite, or if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so much for coming on back. Father God, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you for this meal that I'm about to receive. Father God, I ask that you would bless it. Bless my friends, my family, and my subscribers. Father God, I am still sending prayers for cooking with Tracy each and every day, Father, and I ask that you would bless her as well. In Jesus' name, I thank and praise you for everything, every day. Amen. So you guys, I'm back with another mukbang, and today I have some good old KFC, had some running to do, so this was quick and easy, because it was kind of right where I was, just drinking, this is the Sobe water, and this is the pomegranate one, and I mixed some raspberry tea in it. Just a little parched. So today I just have... A chicken sandwich and this is the honey barbecue and this is what it looks like it's crispy barbecue sauce mayo pickle on the bottom But you know I'm going to have to fix that up. I've got some green beans. Mmm, nice crunch. And I've got some coleslaw. Gotta have some coleslaw. If I can get it open. I have gotten so used to having coleslaw on my chicken sandwich. And KFC, hands down, to me, has the best coleslaw. Put a little bit on the plate. Because I got to have it, y'all. I just got to have it like that. back together get my green beans and we'll just sit that there like that there we go y'all yummer yummer so how's everybody doing today I pray you are blessed and highly favored Green beans are good. Hope you're having a wonderful day. They're really good. I should have got a large in those. Get you a bite. Got it? Good. Get it? Got it? Good. My turn. It's super crunchy. Mm -mm -mm. I started to get the Nashville hot. I've had it before on my channel and it's good. Hmm. I like this one. I like anything honey barbecue. It's 
to tell you guys, I stopped and got some chicken. Got this sandwich because it was getting late. I knew I wasn't going to have time to cook today. My eating window was closing. I just have to look to see where my legs are going. Not that I'm all that tall, but just to see where I'm stretching them out at so I don't kick the camera stand. Matter of fact, let me just scoot back a little bit. So thank you to everyone who watched my video yesterday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone watching this video today. So you guys, I had to go drop off my tax papers so I can get my taxes done. I don't do them myself. I don't know what I'm doing. If I try, try to do my taxes myself, IRS would be coming for me. I'll be in a claim. I know a lot of people that do their own with TurboTax. I'm not one of them. I just pay somebody. So I had to go drop them off. Mm. And it is about a 25, 30 minute drive to get to my assets management guy. He does my taxes and he manages my retirement fund. So because I knew I had to do that when I got off work, I knew it would be some kind of fast food today. And this is hitting pretty good. If I do say so myself. Is there anybody out there <clears throat> who
worked several different jobs last year. And because of that, well, not even because of that, but is there anybody out there who filed their taxes last year in 2018 for 2019 and have not received your taxes back yet? Comment down below. Because there are people that still have not gotten their taxes back from last year. And that is just crazy to me. So this year supposedly is supposed to double up. They're supposed to get what they were supposed to get last year and get their money this year. I mean, and you know, it's the IRS, guys. I mean, what can you do? You can file an appeal or a complaint or whatever, but you're still going to just be waiting. That is just wrong. And I pray to God, knock on wood, that it don't happen to me. But I bet if you owed them something, you wouldn't have a, you wouldn't get um till next year to pay it. You owe them something, they want their money right now. I mean, you can get it set up on some kind of a payment plan if it's a lot of money, but they're not gonna play with you for a long amount of time. They want their money. You probably ain't gonna get no year. And some people go to Jackson Hewitt or H and R Block. A lot of people have little companies that they know about that do it, like I do. The place I go has been doing my taxes for years, and I've not had an issue, so I'm thankful. Couple outside barking. She sees something or somebody. I seen on the news the other day, speaking of Coco, with this lady, <clears throat> you know, people are very loving with their pets, like them, their pets lick them and stuff. I don't let Coco lick me. Nope. That's just not something I'm going to do. And I know that that's their way of showing affection and whatever. I get that. But I do not let her lick me. She licked my hand. I'm pissed off. And she know better. She's showing looking me in my face. She let her dog lick on her, lick on her. Got some kind of bacteria in her blood. Ended up losing her hands. Yeah. Both her hands. Cut off. From some kind of bacteria she got. From her dog licking her in her face. I'm not doing it. 
I never have. And I've had pets all my life. It's just not something I was ever comfortable with. They look all up everywhere else. They ain't licking me. Love her to death. Treat her like a little queen. Pat her little head, scratch her ear, whatever. But, mm -mm. that's where I draw the line. Mm -hmm. I was quick. <laughs> it was good. And I was hungry. I heard on the radio the other day that the IRS says you have to claim all your income, illegal or otherwise. <laughs> so if you made money from selling drugs illegally, you need to claim that. If you made money from stolen property, you need to claim that. Have you made money from fraud? You need to claim that. <laughs> who can make claim that? I mean, like, seriously, who? Not that I've done any of those things. Wouldn't even know how. But, seriously, who's really going to sit up and put that under taxes? That's crazy. Ain't nobody doing that. They are not doing that. You just asking them to come get you and cuff you up and put you in a plane. <laughs> it make no sense. That was good.
for you guys. That brings this video to a close. I am done, member of the Clean Plate Club. And it was really good. I really like putting... Hold on, burp. Excuse me. I really like putting coleslaw on chicken sandwiches now. Like, on the Popeye sandwich, on any of the KFC sandwiches. That That's the stuff right there. So anyway, I'm going to bring this video to a close. I thank you so much for stopping by and have a list, having this delicious bite with me. If you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share me out, share me out, share me out, guys. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites and maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. As always, I believe that you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. So, until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.